Ah, the open road is calling in today on At Your Leisure. We are answering. I'm Chad Booth. And I'm Rhea Rossi Booth. We are taking you on the RV vacation your family has been dreaming about. Follow us as we begin a journey that will lead from the inner mountain west all the way up the California coast. Yes, you'll want to watch throughout the next month as we give you an itinerary to adventure. From there, Steve Human will preview an event that could help keep public lands open. So, Rhea, are you excited? Because I think we've only got about three more bundles of stuff and we're ready to go. I can't wait for this trip. Oh, good. Hi, everybody. Welcome to this week's episode of At Your Leisure. I'm your host, Chad Booth. And I'm Rhea Rossi Booth. And we are about to set sail on an RV adventure of a lifetime. That's right. We're going to start in our home state of Utah, and then we're going to wind along the Colorado River and follow those shores all the way to the border of Mexico. Then we're gonna hop over to the coast of California and we're gonna make our way up the Southern California coast featuring some of the highlights that RVers would just have a blast with. And on the way home, true to at your leisure, we're gonna check out some ghost towns that dot the way. So from the deserts of the West and the ghost towns to all the activities in sunny California and the meandering shores of the Colorado River, we will be giving you those feature stories, those little side excursions, those little things that make an RV trip with your family very special. Well, we better finish up our packing so we can hit the road. All right, great. Oh, you can't have too many towels. I got three people in this unit, so I want to make sure we don't run out. You got to remember to bring all the fun stuff from your kitchen that you use every day that you're going to use in the motorhome. Mugs for hot chocolate, tuna fish just in case I get lazy and I don't want to cook. You need garbage bags and you need anything that you can possibly think of. And what the fun thing is, you can never pack too much because you have all these cabinets. And then if you forget something, you can always just stop on the road and pick it up and just throw it in here. It's not like flying. I started motorhoming when I had young kids. A lot of people wait and say this is a retirement activity, but my children grew up on the road on motorhome trips. We took a lot of them. We changed the way we traveled. We didn't use the videos anymore. We did things like car bingo because the goal is to get the kids to look out the window and see the world around them. Oh, and by the way, adults can play this too. It's a great way to pass the hours and keep your eyes out the window. So if I win, what's my prize? I like the fact that you're just doing something completely different and you go in some place you haven't been, or maybe you have been, but it's just, it's just an excitement that you know you're going to have fun. Well, we're going to have more tips for you to how to make the trip, the journey there, a lot more fun as we get going, but we won't get going if we don't get moving. So find yourself a seat in the back. Let's get on our way. <laughs> but right now we're going to do something completely different, our travel adventure. All right, let's go. It's been said that Utah's trails are America's trails. This statement implies more than just dirt roads passing into the distance. They are ribbons of adventure winding through landscapes that give the word iconic its very meaning. For those who venture out onto these diverse and rugged paths, there is much to be discovered, both in beauty and self-reflection. Your perspective on the entire world can change once you've looked down on it from an inaccessible perch. This is what 4x4 enthusiasts are after every time they set out over rock and stone. For them, the trips into the unknown are only made better when you add two things, a challenge and a friend or two by your side. This is one reason enormous get-togethers have sprung up throughout the West. But if America's trails are truly in Utah, there's only one place for America to come and only one event this time of year that invites them all out. This is the Winter 4x4 Jamboree. It's an all new event. Uh, a lot of people who have helped put on other events down there are putting it on this year, and it's going to be an absolute great event. It's great times to get together and, and have some fun and, and see some sights, and, and there's absolutely beautiful views down there. And also some good trails. Uh, from, some of them are hard, some of them are easy. There's some fantastic trails down there, mild to wild. Some of the wildest trails I've seen are in this area. 
and that area is basically the whole of St. George. Staging out of the fairgrounds in Hurricane, the Winter 4x4 Jamboree takes riders on trails through the Red Rocks, up sand dunes, and through canyons that will squeeze your rig and pinch your nerves. Many of the trips center around Sand Hollow State Park and the plethora of terrain that exists here. The park opened in April of 2003 and since then has become a playground for not only boats, but ATVs and Jeeps from across the West. The Jamboree is focusing on the park for more reasons than just the rocks and sand though. A shadow looms over these dunes that local off-road clubs are looking to address. Proceeds from it are going to go help uh, to fight the land grab down there for uh, Sand Hollow. There's a, a gentleman down there that has owned some land that is in a proposed habitat area. There's a land swap involved with the BLM that they now want to take away a fair amount of our riding area that is established in the Sand Hollow and Sand Mountain recreation area. That land was put aside as an OHV play area down there by the federal government and it needs to stay an OHV play area. The land access battles have been a little quiet over the last maybe couple of years, but there are a few proposals, this being maybe the first salvo. Our political activism will, would be very valuable for this particular issue in addition to future issues that will come up. With that in mind, Jamboree participants are encouraged to explore these areas in depth, being as how in the future they could become private property. The hope remains that with enough voices behind them, the event organizers can help facilitate a land swap that will be beneficial to everyone involved while keeping access to these lands open for everyone. These trails are America's trails after all, and if public lands are to stay that way, every user needs to appreciate what would be lost if nothing was done to preserve them. The Winter 4x4 Jamboree will be held January 23rd and 24th in Hurricane, Utah. 13 different trails are on the docket for exploration with guides ready to take riders anywhere their skills will let them. There is still time to register and help not only keep many of these routes open, but to enjoy a beautiful challenge with a few hundred friends. Winter4x4Jamboree.com is where you can go sign up. It's going to be a blast. We've got some great sponsors. We're going to be giving away a set of BF Goodrich tires down there. So it's a great time to get out, chance to get out, try out your rig before Easter Jeep Safari. Great people down there, great community, a lot of vertical climbs, a lot of technical trails for four-wheel drives, but at the same time, if you just want a nice vista, that's a great avenue as well. There is nothing like the crimson lands of southern Utah. These trails really do belong to every American. It's our legacy here, and it's worth keeping open. Now remember, the Winter 4x4 Jamboree is coming up just in a couple of weeks. Again, January 23rd and 24th. You can sign up at winter4x4jamboree.com. We hope to see you there. Well, I'm Stephen Hewen from Sand Hollow. We need to take a commercial break, but when we come back, Darren Kinder is taking out the brand new 2015 Summit Snowmobile. Is it worth the price tag? They'll have all the details. Take a journey into the distant past at the Utah Fieldhouse of Natural History State Park Museum in Vernal, this week's featured Utah State Park. Discover the prehistoric world in all its varieties, dig for fossils with the kids, and explore our outdoor dinosaur garden. Evidence of the entire history of the Earth is visible within an 80-mile radius of Vernal, and the Utah Fieldhouse reveals this geologic story with hands-on exhibits and activities. You can even watch as paleontologists work on real fossils in our research area. Exhibits include nearly three billion years of Earth history as it is exposed in the nearby Uinta Mountains and Uinta Basin. The Utah Fieldhouse of Natural History State Park Museum is easy to find right on U.S. Highway 40 in the heart of Vernal. Utah State Parks, adventures for everyone. A powder day in the trees. A morning of crisp air and blue skies a winter destination in your own backyard. Twillin County is all of them in one. It's time to experience a new adventure you never knew you were missing. It's time to find out what's just over the mountain. Tooele County, Utah. The Wasatch Front is your home. Tooele is your backyard. 
Our slogan is Service of the Power 3, and a lot of people ask me, what the heck is Service of the Power 3? Well, we look at ourselves as servers. We're here to serve you, to serve the customers that come in the door. We have all gold certified mechanics that are the highest level you can be in. The employees that work here, everybody's an enthusiast. If somebody comes in and asks about a particular product, we can tell them a personal experience on that, other than just telling them a spec sheet out of the book. I hope to earn everybody that comes in here's business. We're here to serve you, not sell you. Now, if you're trying to quit the uh, snowmobile addiction, do not watch this product review because this machine makes it so much fun, so easy, you're going to want to get one and go out and go riding. Hi, I'm Darren Kinder, and our product review today is the new Skidoo Summit 174T3. And the T3 stands for a three inch deep lug track on this thing, and it just floats on top of the snow. And then you just step on a foot rail, get it down into the corner, and then if you start grinding down a little bit, just goose that throttle, boom, up it shoots again and away it goes. What I really love about this sled is, you know when you get into side hilling, you know, especially for people who haven't ridden a lot, they're so used to having to put so much weight on it. This just takes a little bit of weight, move over to the side, get it digging in, start counter steering it a little bit, and as you kind of feel the machine drag down a little bit, your shoulders down in the snow, just give it a little bit of goose, a little bit more throttle, and you can come right back up on it, or just keep carving around. This track never really wants to snap you back up. It'll let you lay on that side all day long. This thing is so much fun. Let me show you all the features on it. Now this has the 800 E-Tech motor in it, which is a direct injected, fuel injected engine. So it, it's putting the fuel directly into the cylinder. It also does that with the oil. So this machine gets great fuel economy and it also burns up a whole lot less oil. You don't see it smoking. You don't see any of that kind of stuff because it burns a lot cleaner than the old sleds. Okay, now if you get a T3, it has this RAS front end on it. And what it, that is, is that they have used an elliptical bar on these A-arms, which are a lot stronger. They've also gone with a taller spindle on it that they've lightened it up, and it also raises the front end up, up a little bit. And what that helps with is your approach angle, so that that snow is moving underneath the sled instead of grabbing into it. Now this is a 174, but the T3 also comes in a 163. Now all of the summits come with the T-Motion and the Flex Edge track. And what that does is it allows the machine to tip over two degrees before it even starts to you know, bend up that track or do anything. Now this is the T-Motion part right here and there's a little gimbal bearing in there and that allows the machine to start turning or going onto its edge before this track starts picking up. So it really makes it easy for people to get out there and side hill. My wife is gonna love that part. Now, one thing that Skidoo has done really well on this machine is that they've created a seat. This is just a single seat, and you can see it pops right off. Um, but uh, they also have a version of this that has a two-up. So if you need to get your family up to the cabin, but then you want to go do some, uh, some nice boondocking, you can pop this single seat back on it, and away you go. Now, there's a lot of really neat things up here on the dash as well. One is, is the key is a RFI and what this does is it has a radio frequency in it so remember how you used to always have to get that button down just so well not anymore you, as long as you get it at least close to that the motor will start and run it's got 10 different heat settings on the handlebars and thumb, thumb warmers so you can get that just the way you want it you've got your reverse switch here and they have changed up this handlebar system now they use a pro taper bar they've gone to a, a molded plastic a rubber uh, uh, side hilling bar on it, so that, that's kind of nice. And one thing they've, they've done that I really like is they put a lot of electronics uh, readouts on your uh, speedometer output. All right, well, I've got to get out and get riding again. I'm starting to cool off, and I'd rather do that than do this. So uh, you guys need to get into Weller's Recreation, into their brand new building up in Camas. It is fantastic. They've got every toy imaginable in that building now, and service like you can't believe. So I'm Darren Kinder. We'll see you next time. You climb, we invent, you carve, we refine, you side hill steeper mountains, we develop more responsive technology. You never stop, we never stop. The 2015 ski Do Summit.
It's time to try something new. January 24th at Monte Cristo Trailhead, just east of Ogden. Join at your leisure the Utah Snowmobile Association and Utah State Parks for the sixth annual Take a Friend Snowmobiling Day. This is a free event for anyone looking to try snowmobiling and find out why this winter sport has captured the imagination of families from around the world. Enjoy a chili lunch and hot cocoa all free, plus rides for the kids as well. Dress warm and join at your leisure January 24th for Take a Friend Snowmobiling. Get more info at AYLTV.com. I'm excited about this RV trip because we're hitting the open road and we're going out west which you got wide open spaces, spectacular scenery and the weather's beautiful. Jim and Nancy are with us. They've got a trailer. We're in an RV. The advantage to the RV is while you're on the road in the middle of the journey. You don't have to stop to go to the bathroom. You don't have to stop to go get a snack. You don't have to stop to change into something more comfortable and it's the passing scenery that they're built to enjoy. A trailer you don't have that convenience there it is more convenient at the destination because when you get to the destination in the RV you want to go somewhere you got to pull up your, your roots and go with your whole home. In a trailer you get to your destination and you disconnect and now you've got your vehicle to go see John Wayne's motor yacht. When you're out on the road, uh, it gives you some one-on-one -on -one that you don't get the experience when you're working every day. RV travel is really neat because you can take your pets with you and you can really get a taste of the uh, environment. In an RV, you're there, you get to really enjoy the experience. Well, I'm really excited about RVing because it brings back really great memories when I was a child. My dad decided we're getting an RV and we're all going to be together. And that's when everything just really uh, opened up and we had so much fun. And we, we would go two, three weeks at a time and really enjoy, enjoy the scenery and just hang out with the family. When you purchase an RV, it's not just purchasing the RV, you are actually purchasing the memories that go along with it. And your family grows up and, you know, those memories are very important as you get older. You can look back at the pictures and just relate to all the fun you had while you were out there. And it's really neat. Kids remember that for forever. And we, we're trying to make a few with our grandkids too. And of course with friends, then you can really relax. My dream is to have an RV parked at home. It's already got all the changes of clothes that you need, the jacket, the minimalist things you need. It's already stocked with canned goods on a moment's notice. You grab your purse, you grab your wallet, you walk out the door and you're ready to go. To me, that's the perfect RV to have. It's the best because you make memories and that's everything. Well, Chad and I are really excited to get going on our RV trip with our friends Jim and Nancy. But right now, we're going to go to our trailhead adventure. I'm Reese Stein, at your leisure in the real Florida, not the Florida of Disney World or tennis courts and retirement communities, but the Florida of nature. And the real Florida begins thousands of feet underground in the largest aquifer in the southeast and the 720 crystal clear springs that penetrate the surface. Silver Springs near Ocala is the largest artesian springs network in the world, pumping out some 550 million gallons of 99.6% pure water every day. One of Florida's award-winning state parks, Silver Springs is a paradise for boaters who ply the Silver River as the water drains toward the Atlantic. The historic glass bottom boats clearly reveal the depth of the springs and its wildlife. Florida's oldest tourist attraction, it served as the backdrop for Tarzan, Esther Williams, Lloyd Bridges' Sea Hunt, and the 1950s classic Preacher from the Black Lagoon. Homosassa Springs on the Gulf Coast is one-tenth the size of Silver Springs, but it is just seven miles from the ocean and is a magnet for endangered West Indian manatees. The park serves as a rescue and rehabilitation facility for injured and orphaned manatees. Volunteers give daily programs on the history, status, and care of the manatees in the park. Feeding time is especially entertaining. The park currently has four resident manatees. 
But one of the nice things about them is they are as, as gentle as can be, as gentle as can be. Uh, do you feel for them and their plight? Oh, of course I do. Of course I do. Otherwise, I wouldn't be working here. We have about 5,000 manatee that we estimate left in the wild in the state of Florida, or that is uh, the Florida subspecies. And uh, yeah, I'm very concerned about them. Make sure that they're taken care of. That's one of the reasons I enjoy working here and working with them. And the kids actually paid attention. They eat really weird, and um, they're kind of, I don't know, ugly. No offense to them. But uh, apparently they're related to elephants because their um, mouth is kind of like a trunk. They're herbivores. I always, what does that mean? Uh, like they only eat vegetables, and I thought they were uh, carnivores or omnivores. What did you see? What did they do? Poop. <laughs> and eat lettuce. And they eat green lettuce. Was that cool? Yes. The state acquired the park 25 years ago and has since dedicated it to native plants and animals of Florida, including Don Juan, one of maybe only 50 Florida panthers left in the state, and the similarly endangered red wolf, all but hunted to extinction, a captive breeding program seeks to sustain the wolf. And Levi, one of only 600 whooping cranes left in the U.S. He migrated south from Wisconsin and decided to make Homosassa his home. The whooping crane is the largest bird in North America. Wow. Homosassa features our national symbol, the no longer endangered bald eagle. A pair of crested caracaras, a raptor found from Florida to South America. Owls, herons on a palm tree nest, beautiful roseate spoonbills, white ibis, cormorants prowling the springs for fish, vultures drawing their wings, and Penny's favorite. The flamingo. Why? Because they were so pretty pink, and when they, they put their wings out, it was pretty. The greater flamingo is a common bird of Florida, the West Indies, and the Yucatan. But this guy, are hippos really native to Florida? No, the hippo is not native to Florida. It's not even in, native to the United States. Lou was here before it was a state park. At 55, he's grandfathered in. This is not a native animal, but he, he has a, he's an honorary citizen of Citrus County. Uh, a governor, Childs, uh, many, many years ago, told him that he could stay here forever. So that's his retirement home. Homosassa has alligators, of course. And because Florida is the only place in the U.S. where gators and crocodiles coexist, there's a croc, or at least what used to be a croc, on top of the reptile house roof. Homosassa Springs is a Garden of Eden in a state where many gardens emerge from the depths as beautiful springs. I'm Reese Stein at your leisure at Homosassa Springs, Florida. It's time to try something new. January 24th at Monte Cristo Trailhead, just east of Ogden. Join At Your Leisure, the Utah Snowmobile Association, and Utah State Parks for the sixth annual Take a Friend Snowmobiling Day. This is a free event for anyone looking to try snowmobiling and find out why this winter sport has captured the imagination of families from around the world. Enjoy a chili lunch and hot cocoa all free, plus rides for the kids as well. Dress warm and join At Your Leisure January 24th for Take a Friend Snowmobiling. Get more info at AYLTV.com. When you made it through your busy week, it's time to rest and unwind. There's one thing that we can all agree, a getaway works every time. You're headed to the country, enjoy the comforts of your city living at Ray City RV. You go through the day-to-day -day repeating what you did yesterday. Don't you wish you could access that piece of your life that's missing? 
Find the beauty, serenity, family fun, or anything else that's missing from your life in the Cedar City Bryan Head area. Gain access to your adventure, whether it's camping, hiking, the arts, festivals, or just a getaway. Visit CedarCityAYL.com for details on all the adventures that you can access in scenic southern Utah. Welcome to Nevada, everybody. We are on our way to the Colorado River, and Chad has talked me into a little travel bingo. <laughs> that, that, that you called it a stupid game a minute ago, because I already got one and you didn't. <laughs> I am kind of a sore loser. We talked about this at the beginning of the show, that one of the things that I did as a kid, and I got my kids doing so they'd get their noses out of the iPads and watch the traffic is travel bingo. This is the kind of signs I need to be looking for. So far, I have not seen any horse crossing signs. <laughs> horse crossing? I think, was that a, oh, I thought it was a railroad crossing. No, that's a horse. Oh, that is, no, that's hey, just a horse. Honey, that's sir. just a horse. Uh, no. You might see a wild horse out here in the desert. Oh, that's true. Anyway, we've got our own version of this working. The Sorry. winner, the, the loser has to buy the winner a candy bar candy bar of choice at our next gas stop. Let's play. Oh, I see a McDonald's. School crossing sign. Oh, there you go. Slow up. I got three on okay. my way to bingo. You, it's a candy bar whether you win or not. I'll buy you a candy bar, Jack. Oh, no, Even I'll, if you don't I'll win, let you I'll, eat, that I'll you. let you eat the candy bar. Copies, majestic oh. <laughs> glue. <laughs> Church, River Valley Bible Church. How about it? All right, everybody, we now have a winner, but before we find out who it is, we're gonna go to our AYL sticker winner. That makes sense. Thanks guys, Steve Human here. This week's winner is Steve Burbank. He posted this photo on Facebook. Congratulations, give us a call at 801-947-8888 because you are the winner of a family pass to fast carts to go go karting with your whole family. Congratulations to our winner and condolences to the loser. You won fair and square, honey. Thanks, honey. Even though we helped you spot out three of the ones you won on, you, I just needed that horse and I'd have beat you. I know, you're a good man. Oh, and by the way, I like Almond Joys. Fair enough. Want to get a closer look at Take a Friend Snowmobiling? Well, next week, join me, Stephen Human, as we take out some riders who have never even sat on a snowmobile before. Why is this such a popular sport? Well, we'll have their thoughts and invite you to the official event. From there, Chad and Rhea continue their RV adventure as they take a closer look at the Colorado River and what you can discover just off the beaten path. Well, it looks like next week's show is a good goal to achieve, so everybody make sure to tune in, right? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a winner. We have reached our goal. We've now hooked up with the Colorado River at Black Canyon, so be prepared. Next time we join you, we're going to follow it all the way down to Mexico. It's going to be a beautiful drive. That's true. We have about 30 miles to go to get to our first base camp. And so we've got to hit the road before the sun sets too much. So between now and the next time we get together, remember one thing, folks. Adventure is everywhere around the next bend. But you can't experience it if you're sitting on your couch. <laughs> we'll see you next week on At Your Leisure. Hey guys, if you like that video, you're gonna to wanna to watch all of our other AYL videos. You're gonna to wanna to like it, you're gonna to wanna to share it, and you're gonna to wanna to subscribe, right? See all the buttons right here? <laughs> this is what you're gonna to wanna to do, click, right? Click, click, click. Click on them, because we have some really cool videos, all kinds of behind the scenes stuff, bloopers of Alicia crashing and stuff. Why are you gonna sell me out like that, Steven? <laughs> so you wanna click all of these things and subscribe to our channel, because At Your Leisure is awesome, and uh, we'll see you here for more videos.